channel today I want to share with you some of my top nude favorite lipsticks um, that I've been wearing constantly. One of my beautiful Snapchat fam suggested I should do uh, my favorite nude lipsticks, so that's what I'm doing. I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm gonna have a little bit of like more on the affordable side. Um, I will only have like two that are not affordable, so yeah. Um, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot of dupe for them. But anyways, if you guys want to see my top favorite nude lipsticks. Please keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up with my YouTube videos and also become one of my sparkly babes. Uh, with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, I'll see you. So I'm actually going to start with ColourPop. I don't have a lot of like different options, guys. Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm not a big, huge like hoarder on makeup. So yeah, I'm starting with ColourPop just because I think they are so affordable and they are amazing. And these are actually from the new satin liquid lipstick collection. The satin one, not the ultra matte because I know they have an ultra matte one and but this is the satin one. This is so much better than the ultra matte but I do love some from the ultra matte as well. So this, the first one I'm going to be showing you is Chi. I think that's how you say it. I hope it is. And I think this is from the ultra, no, ultra satin liquid lipsticks if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, this liquid lipstick is super, super pretty. This is what I have on right now. And oh my god, this is like the best literally neutral like natural nude color like it's just so neutral i just freaking love it it's so nude i freaking i'm obsessed with this color like there's nothing bad to say about this damn color it feels awesome on the lip it doesn't feel dry whatsoever um it is really matte as well um i love it it doesn't transfer as well so that's a good thing eh. so these are like a liquid consistence obviously a slightly chemically like smell to it or maybe just my scents are fucked up but that's how I smell it um, it's not strong at all like you could barely smell it you will have to really sniff the shit out of it to be able to smell it so yeah but I really really like the color it's just like bomb and the payoff oof, amazing plus it's only like five or six dollars what can you lose so I got two more to show you from ColourPop and these are actually from the older collection which is the Ultra Matte Liquid Lipsticks. Those were the first one that I actually got from ColourPop when they came out. I was like, hell yeah, I need them so much. So I got in the color Midi and also Trap. So these were the two that I wore like the most, most, most. I'm out of Midi already because I wore it so much. But I think I have some extra left to swatch it for you guys. And this is like a very mauve pinkish tone. And it's so pretty. Once again, it's very ultra, ultra matte. That's the only bad thing. It could be a little, like, um, drying on the lips. So, yeah. Some might like it, some might don't. But this was, like, the bond for me. I freaking love it so much. Once again, the price is amazing. The payoff on the liquid lipsticks are bomb diggity. You cannot go wrong with ColourPop. The other one that I really like is the color Trap, which I thought it was going to be more on the grayish side, grayish side, but I guess depending on the color of your lips, like if you have a lot of pigmentation on your lips, it might turn a little bit more purple, which happened to me. Um, it kind of made it more like a purplish, and I wasn't looking for that, but either way, I ended up loving it. Like at first I was like, uh, no, I don't like it. I was skeptical. I was like, eh, fuck. I, I wasted time. I wasted my money. But then I, after I got like, I kept using it and using it, I got used to it. And now, um, and afterwards I was like obsessed with it. I couldn't stop using it. I'm loving it. Depending on like your lip pigmentation, it might be a little more grayish or it might be a little more purplish. But in overall, it's like a glovey, purpley, grayish tone type thing. I am um, like mixing colors here. I hope you guys understand. Oh my god. You guys know I've been obsessed with this lipstick since I got them. My previous... I just dropped it. So I don't know if you guys are aware, but I did a full-on review on these lipsticks. And I got a lot of questions on asking me if I still use them. Girl, yes I do. This lipstick came in so good for so cheap. And I'm so glad I got them because they are freaking bombastic. So the first one that I got is, I got this from, um, so let me clear it up. These are not real ones. These are from AliExpress. I got it for like a dollar or two dollars, something like that. The pigmentation is freaking amazing. They are completely mad. They're kind of drying, but they do last all day on me. So I got it in the color Buffy and also Cashmere. Uh, once again, these are another real deal. I got them once again. Not real. Not real. Not real. Not real. 
real. I feel like I always have to clarify that because people use like no get it, but not real. I got it from Ali's Press for a dollar. Holler. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna be swatching this for you guys as well. So so both of this lipstick has like a have like a cool gray tone to them. So the only difference with this lipstick is that the brown, the buffy, the buffy one has more of a cool tone brown, and then the cashmere has more of a a cool tone, uh, purple tone, 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 tone. So yeah, these were super cheap from AliExpress. I got them of like a month or two months ago, I believe. I still wear them. I still love them. I still obsessed with them. They are freaking bomb. I'm so glad I got them because they were so cheap and they are amazing. So yeah. The only thing I suggest, guys, is that when you take them, when you put them on your lip, make sure to use a lip balm or something because they are very drying. And also to take them off, use a oil oil based uh, lip facial cleanser or something like that. Um, just because they are very very hard to take off. So yeah, take note to that. Oh shoot, I almost forgot to show you this ColourPop lip liner is from is in the color Lumiere, and it was from Kathleen Light Collection. And the reason why I'm showing you now is because I usually mix it with this. Um, this is the combo that I always like wear. They are kind of almost the same color as you can see on the tip here. Only that this is more purpley and this is more pinkish. But these both combined, oh my god, I'm obsessed. It's freaking bomb. And this is actually Sigma, Sigma Lip Base in the color uh, in the color Indulgence. And it's such a pretty pinkish like nude color oh my god these two are like my favorite i'm not sure how much is this but i will look up for you guys and put it i will be putting everything in the description below just in case you guys are wondering the prices and all that i'll have everything everything in the description below so check that out don't forget to check it out so yeah these two makes are freaking oh my god i love 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 it so much again the color pop lip liner i believe is like five dollars and they are pff, worth it they are bomb they're like literally so pigmented and they are so moisturizing on the lips. They are not drying whatsoever. This as well. This um, this lip base from uh, Sigma. It's actually amazing, amazing, amazing on the lips. It's super moisturizing. I usually use this when I used to go to school and I didn't have anything to put on. I usually just throw this on my bag and like apply it all over. It lasted me all a couple of hours, and it was you know I was good to go. Nice bomb. Thing. So that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Those new lipsticks that have been my favorite lately. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up for more videos like this. See you next time. I'll see you.